Hello and welcome to Earth Under Siege. My name is Gabriel, I am the level designer working on this project here at Insane and I'm, I'm here now to show you a bit about this project, things we are doing right now, things we plan to do in the future and how the, just the basic mechanic of the game works. So let's create here a new user. And here we are inside the game. So as you can see you have a skills tab here that I'll get into it later. We have a life bar and a resource tab that contains the number of resources you have that you're going to use to build turrets. Each turret can be built in one of these bases here that are with a hotkey. And this hotkey is what you're going to use to shoot. So how sh how does shooting work in these games? Very simple. So you can use your mouse as a name, and wherever you're pointing at, if you just press the hotkey of your selected tower, in my case is the missile one. If I just press Q, I'm going to shoot and kill an enemy. Hopefully, if you aim correctly. So. By killing enemies you get resources here and by using these resources you can build additional tower and increase your firepower. So by killing this other guy I'll have enough to make another missile tower and I'm gonna choose here in the W key. So let's go here we have a, a menu with all kind of turrets you have so the only one that I have enough resources to build now is a missile one. So let's go. And there you have it. Now I can press Q and W and shoot two missiles at a time. And as you can see, every tower has a cooldown bar that is just beside it. Another way that you can shoot with the towers is with the locking system. How does it work? So you select one by hovering your mouse over one of the towers and you press shift to lock it and when you do another ring is going to appear here and as you click wherever you want on the screen it is going to shoot for you so if you have two towers of the same type you can double click and it's going to shoot with both at the same time we have enough resources now to build our third missile tower so let's do it and there we have it. As you can see now, you can shoot with the three of the towers at the same time by using the same system. So the goal of this stage specifically is to survive only, but they're going to vary a lot during different stages. So in the end of each stage you get a clear skin, clear screen and you can go back to the main menu or see what we unlocked here so we got different and new towers and you can also see the skill points that we got in this stage so we got five and we have a total of five what do we use these skill points to i'm going to show you right now so as we go here to the stage selection screen we have a skills tab and what we do with the skill points we upgrade skills. So now I have the nuke and all it does I'm going to show you on our next stage. But before that we have the technology tab and in this tab you can see every single turret that you can build throughout the game. Some of them are already unlocked, some of them you are going to unlock as you go through the stages. And we also have in our main line in chapter one side missions so for example 2a here if i click it you can see that it is going to happen on the red planet and if i go to the third stage it is going to continue on earth and it is going to keep our progress from our last stages in that same planet so let's go on So in the beginning of each stage we are going to have a briefing screen 
and in this screen we are going to show you the mission items that is what you unlock when you complete this mission and we're going to have a brief story here that is going to tell you more about the lore that we are still writing right now so let's get going with the third stage so right off the bat they tell you to upgrade one of the turrets you have so as well as building you can upgrade the same way you open the menu by dragging the mouse from outside to inside the earth hovering the base that you decide so in my case I'm going to upgrade the Q that is one of my missile towers and we have different kinds of upgrades also we have evolution so the first one here is a damage upgrade that costs 90 that is exactly what I have in my resources the next one is a cooldown reduction one that costs 110 and the third is the missile speed so that it is easier for you to reach your target if you're having problems timing things correctly these are two here they are special, they are a little stronger the first one upgrades to a missile tower that does a scattering explosion that gets a bigger area and does more damage and the second one shoots two missiles instead of one and you have a recycle one in case you want to change your tower so let's just upgrade here make a damage upgrade that is what we can do right now so. right beside here you have all the skills that you unlocked on the previous menu and these guys that are flying over that have little lights on them they are the ones that give you skill points when you kill them so pay attention to them always and remember that you can shoot with multiple towers at the same time now we are a bit more into the stage and our current objective is to build a laser turret so we open the menu here and it's going to give us the option of building a missile one or a laser tower if you try to build the missile tower it is going to tell us that you can only build three turrets at the same time so what we're going to do obviously is to build a laser tower so let's go the laser tower works in a different way from every other one so if I press R here you can see that it shoots a laser beam and I can use the locking system to control both kinds of turrets at the same time so I can hold shift here hovering over one of my missile towers and click anywhere on the screen and at the same time I can press R to shoot my laser beam and every single tower has a different functionality and a different utility for your tactics so the way you're going to build your towers and the way you are going to upgrade them and, cho and choose their position is going to affect directly into your gameplay be very careful where you want to build them different kinds of enemies are going to appear too in different stages so the more you go on with the game the more dangerous the enemies are going to be some enemies just like this one when they die they drop health capsules that are these little glowing lights that follow your mouse over the screen so how do you recover? you just drag them into the earth so pay attention to my health bar as I do this so I'm gonna get my mouse here and drag it over and you can see my health just recovering so now the atmosphere is a mess full of monsters and asteroids so what can we do to save ourselves? use our skill and there we go, just exploded everything, that's the nuke and as you go through the game you unlock different skills that have also different utilities and different usage wrapping up this video we have shown our game in a very big fair that happened in October 2013 that was Brazil game show where lots of people could play our game and give us feedback that we're using to improve our development. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for upcoming news, videos and updates. Bye!